Lots of babies are born with birthmarks, and some go away on their own without causing problems, but others won't and do cause problems. Here to help us know when they should be addressed is Dr. Kristen Snyder, medical lead for the Vascular Anomalies Program at the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Welcome to 8 West. Thank you. Nice to be here. Thank you. You know, this is a really important topic. Vascular anomalies, let's talk about exactly what that is. Well, vascular anomalies are a group of what could be um, thought to be birthmarks. Okay. Parents will notice something that looks different on their child's skin or under the skin when they're um, sometimes very young, maybe two weeks of age, or maybe right at the time the baby's born, or maybe later on when they're three years old. Yeah, and birthmarks are so prevalent. We see them all the time mm -hmm. on newborns and even on small children. But how prevalent is this? Because this is a little bit different what we're talking about mm -hmm. today. Well, there's different types of vascular anomalies and hemangiomas are probably the most common type of vascular anomaly and they occur in one in every 20 infants. Wow. And then vascular malformations occur in one in 200. Okay, we're seeing on the screen right here, this is a birthmark that might look a little different than uh, some of the other ones that mm -hmm. we've seen. Can you explain what this is and why this is sure. a little bit different? This is a hemangioma. Okay. And this may have looked like a scratch or a bruise that mom or dad might have noticed on the baby when the baby was maybe only two weeks old, but it didn't go away and it continued to grow. Initially, it was probably flat. Now it's sticking out and raised from this little baby's head. Yeah, when I have a new baby at mm -hmm. home. And when you do have that new baby, I mean, that's such an exciting time. And mm -hmm. so you want the baby, obviously, to be very perfect and mm -hmm. healthy. And when you see a birthmark like this, whether it's larger or smaller scale, parents can sometimes be a little bit alarmed. Mm -hmm. What should parents do if they see something like this on their newborn? Well, the first step really is to talk to their pediatrician. Okay. And their pediatrician has probably seen these birthmarks or these lesions or these vascular anomalies before. Um, and some of them will, like the hemangiomas, may go away on their own and may, need, may not need any therapy at all. Um, but some of them actually do need therapy. Some hemangiomas do need therapy. And then the pediatrician can refer that child to our clinic. On the photo that we had just mm -hmm. seen on the screen, you had mentioned that this probably looked like a little scratch mm -hmm. when they were born and mm -hmm. then it grew. When should a parent take their child in? Well, the good thing is that most babies are seeing their pediatrician pretty regularly right. during those first few months of infancy. And so the pediatrician is likely going to be seeing the patient quickly and notice it as well. So it is important to see a specialist, but mm -hmm. we're seeing up right now some of the treatment options. Can you talk us through these? Well, so hemangiomas, when many of us were in medical school, we learned that hemangiomas will go away on their own. Mm -hmm. They have a, a time period where they grow very, very quickly, the first six months of life. Then six months to 12 months of life, they grow much more slowly, but continuing to grow. And somewhere after a child's first birthday, they start to involute or get smaller on their own. They get smaller over the course of a period of years. However, for hemangiomas that might be in a very uh, significant place, like a child's airway where it's rapidly growing and the baby can't breathe any longer, or over the eye so it's affecting the baby's vision, or sometimes just in a cosmetically present place on the face, the tip of the nose, then those babies uh, may need therapy. And there's a medicine called propranolol, okay. which is usually used for patients with cardiac problems for heart problems, but we're able to use that medicine in children with hemangiomas and it can make the hemangiomas disappear over a period of months as opposed to a period of years. Okay, we know that the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital has a fantastic mm -hmm. pediatric oncology program, mm -hmm. but the good thing about these are that they are benign. Correct, absolutely. They go away on their own um, and if they need help, then the propranolol can help those hemangiomas, hemangiomas go away even faster. Yeah, we know that you offer a multidisciplinary team mm -hmm. at the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Let's talk about the clinics where people can learn more. 
So there is a multidisciplinary clinic that we have. We have case conferences where we discuss patients who have hemangiomas or patients who have venous malformations, lymphatic malformations, because these are the other kind of vascular anomalies we see. And those vascular anomalies can be much more complex. They can, they um, will grow with the children. They will remain there forever. They cannot, they will not disappear on their own the way hemangiomas will. So we bring those patients or their cases into a conference. We discuss them with a group of physicians and we decide which physicians need to see those patients. Yeah, and you mentioned that for some children this can obstruct their airway, but for other children is it mainly cosmetic? Sometimes it's cosmetic, but many vascular malformations, the venous malformations and lymphatic malformations can be very, um, they can also impede on the airway, but they can be painful. They can, um, they can hurt the patient, they can cause the patient to limp, for example. Yeah. Um, and if people are sitting at home and they have a new baby or they have a child at home mm -hmm. that they've seen a birthmark mm -hmm. very similar to the photos that we've mm -hmm. shown, how can they get a hold of you? Well, the first step is to contact their pediatrician um, and, and discuss with their pediatrician whether or not this is something that needs to be seen by us. And if it is, then we have our phone number is 616-267-1925 or we can be reached by looking at our website as well. Dr. Snyder, thank mm -hmm. you so much. We are Great. so lucky to have the oh. efforts of the Helen Voss Children's Hospital right here in our backyard. Yeah, thanks, Jordan. Thank you. Don't go away. We have a lot more 8 West right after this break. Are you West?